Okay, I'm about to blow your mind. Listen up. This is the video to end all flat earth videos. Look, look, look at this. Today, we're going to talk about the Milky Way. Take a good look at this. That's nature, right? Apart from the fact that egg doesn't belong in that nest. That's nature, right? Now imagine if this nest was a lot longer. Had the centre point, but was quite long. So there we have nature. And nature all relates to the flat earth model. Not a sun 93 million miles away. So what do we have? We have the Milky Way. Look at it. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? What's behind the Milky Way that we all know about? The sun. This is our nighttime side. The opposite side is daylight on the other side of the world. <clears throat> okay? That's the centre. That's what it looks like flat side on. And it's all being reflected out because these are reflective surfaces. All holographic images seen in microscopic point of view from our po microscopic point of view for, from us, for us. Nothing is seen in there. It's the moisture in the atmosphere. There's your spring. Now, this is the monster. What have I said in my previous videos? Not in this series, but earlier on. What does the sun do? The sun recycles the energy and sustains life. The moon creates life. This is the vortex where all everything over time gets sucked into and recycles back through the sun. To get to the Father, you go through me. There's another one, to know thy father is to know me. I'll keep that, keep that one aside, but this is the recycling of the energy. Over time, everything goes up there. Physicists and all that sit around talking about, oh, the world's uh, expanding outward, upward and outward. Upward, oh, <laughs> upward and outward. And they sit around talking about matter and antimatter. And then start talking about magnetic fields and vortexes. Well, all they're referring to is the magnetic fields. We get the flux, the two way system, which is basically an upward motion and the downward coming together. But I've shown that in previous videos where the, the two cycles, the two skies of Earth, the magnetic fields merge at the equator. Well, it's all here. The sun is in the center of the Milky Way, but it's cradled. It's cradled in there like a nest. The son of man was born in a manger. What's a manger? You look at what's a manger. Interpretation of a manger. A long trough from which horses or cattle feed. Cattle along the ground thou shalt go and above the fields. Above the beasts the snake shall go. That's the magnetic field. Cattles. Other Christian texts talk of uh, Jesus being born where the beasts meet. That's the magnetic, the two fields, the two skies. They meet like this. That's, there it is there. They meet here because this, it's this precious time, divine time in our moment, um, spring, our year. This happens. It's meeting at the manger. That's, it's not that, but it's, it's part of the story. It's, it's that time of the year where the beasts meet. And they call it the barn or born in Bethlehem, whatever. The manger. So there's the manger, the cradle of the sun. Because it turns 24 hours a day or something. It, it rotates. 
because this is what it is, ginormous vortex moving slowly. So this is spinning or rotating system. So this will be off to the side, won't it? It'll be off here because it's cradled. It's cradled in the system, not dead center. So like it's it's sort of open, cradled in here, like an egg, <laughs> just like that nest. So we have the system cradled. This is what we have. This is daylight. The night time. Christ, son born in a manger. Son of man. Son of man is enlightened at this point. His son. The whole story of Christ is about the man. Son of man. Physical world. Nothing up here is physical. It's all projections into the moist atmosphere. The manger. The monster. The dragon. Down into Hades. Getting sucked down. Recycled through thy son. Sound because the system is alive and working. The humming, the buzzing they hear in the, in the, in the you know, night sky, whenever, day, might get in the day, but it's normally night sky. The sun is moving up in the procession of the equinoxes. Everything moves up over the procession, 26,000 years up and down. So it must go up, get sucked down, and come back up again. 26,000 years. It's all there. Nothing going on in the centre of the vortex. Oh, there is the centre. That is the centre. Uh, science has the sun off to the side of the centre, but it cannot be. It has to be in here, just off to the side of the spot on the centre. It's cradled there. Everything flies through here. Through, goes through the sun and out or it flies down and the perimeter it's recycled, it's recycled so it must get recycled on the way back out but then again it could get re recycled on the way down, down through here before it comes back up again but it is a recycling system get to the sun you go through me all energy is recycled through the sun and the moon creates all life the sun sustains it also. So it's all there. This is mind-blowing stuff. Physics don't know it. They need to be taught. <laughs> all these years. I just saw the video recently sitting around talking about matter and antimatter. Positive, negative neutrons. That's what we've got. Okay. Spring coil. Someone needs to make up the system. That's perfect symmetry. Symmetry. The southern sky rotation is reflected from this. And the northern rotation is from down there up. So it would have to be made, made in glass. This has, to, this has to turn. Get the vortex going. You'll see it. I'm trying to get some parts together. But it's not going to be... I can't find something in this shape unless I have it made. When I've got a glass bowl, this shape, I can put a glass in here, slight angle, put it on my rotating machine, watch what happens. But it's not going to give the true picture. If someone can put that in a computer system, animated or graphics, everyone will click on. You can't deny it. It's the flat earth design. That's it. No other man has come up with this. It's 100% deep, non, you cannot debunk it. So get your head around that, I've got lots more stuff coming in the next video.